from the Lotus Sutra, Chapter 25, The Universal Gateway of the Bodhisattva Canon. When living beings are beset by woes and burdened by countless pains, Canon's wondrous wisdom power can free them from the sufferings of the world. In full command of transcendent powers, widely practicing the skillful means of wisdom, in the lands of the ten directions there is no place she does not manifest herself. All the evil states of existence, hells, hungry spirits and beasts, and the suffering of birth, old age, disease, and death are all gradually made to disappear. Her true regard, pure regard, vast wisdom regard, merciful regard, and compassionate regard are always aspired to and ever revered. She is a pure, unclouded beacon of light, a sun of wisdom destroying all darkness, a subduer of the winds and flames of misfortune, a light shining everywhere in the world. Her mercy her precept body is the roaring thunder, and her compassion, her wondrous mind, is the great cloud that pours forth the sweet dew of Dharma rain, and that quenches the flames of delusion. In disputes before her magistrate, or in fear in battle's array, bringing Canon's power to mind vanquishes all ill will. Wondrous voice! world-regarding voice, Brahma voice, voice of the rolling tide. Hers is a voice unsurpassed in the world, constantly to be kept in mind with never a doubting thought. Regarder of the cries of the world, pure sage who surely becomes a reliable refuge in suffering and agony, danger and death, is endowed with every virtue and beholds living beings with compassionate eyes. She is a boundless ocean of blessings. Humbly, let us revere her. Namum yo renge kyo. Namum yo renge kyo. Namum yo renge kyo.